I uh, met a man here in Toronto. He was the one that originally got me involved in studying this, Ray Stanford. And he told me if I didn't like the results I was getting in my life, mm -hmm. that I was going to have to change me because they were my results. And he said, if you're going to change you, you're going to have to find out something about yourself. Who am I? Well, that's an interesting question. Mm -hmm. And I believe if a person will start to study that and look for the answer, they'll find it. You see, we're creative beings. We're working with an infinite power. And once we start to understand the power of our mind and then start to understand how to utilize it properly, then we'll understand that we can do virtually anything. We were created to have and enjoy all the good that life has to offer. You're God's greatest creation, and you are meant to win. Now, I choose to believe that every one of you wants something. Way down deep inside of you is a dream. And every now and then, that dream floats to the surface of your conscious mind. And when it dies, you quickly push it out, and you say, I can't do that. Now, the truth is you can, you just don't know how. Your brain is an electronic switching station. And when you think, you activate brain cells and those brain cells set up a vibration. You've got an electrical system in you that's second to none. And our body is an electronic instrument, and we put our body into a vibration, our mind and body, and whatever vibration we're in is gonna dictate what we attract. People enjoy better health if they would learn to relax. Disease is a body that's not at ease. And when it's uptight, it starts to break down. We wanna to learn to totally relax. Something is in you wants to express itself in a greater way and you're not letting it out. That some of you see yourself in positions where you can earn all kinds of money and you may be broke. And a paradigm saying you can't do that. And so you're going to have this argument going inside. We're really extras in our own movie. We see the star, but we're not the star. You're the star of your movie. You are the Academy Award winning star of your movie. Imagination isn't something just kids play with until they get a little older. Imagination, Hill said, is the most marvelous, miraculous, inconceivably powerful force the world has ever known. You have one. It's one of your higher faculties. That was that sacred gift. When you start to do what you want to do, you are going to like you so much better. It's like, mwah, you're going to kiss yourself. You will. You will just like yourself so much. And you know what you're going to be attracted to? You're going to be attracted to other people that live that way too. If this was my last day, and I was doing what I wanted to do, I'd be right here doing what I'm doing right now. Yeah. Because that's what I'm doing. Yeah. I'm doing what I want to do. Mm -hmm. It's not about me. It's really about you. And so if we can get into the habit of helping the other person just understand themselves a little bit better, enjoy a little bit more of life, I think we're on the right track. Yeah. There's greatness within every one of us. There's no question about that. In every person there's greatness. I think it's the essence of who we are. Mm -hmm.